hey guys and welcome back to my channel and another vlog hopefully i actually end this one on the day that i'm filming this or around the same time you know i have another day of placement i know i've never mentioned it and i don't think i've mentioned it in another video basically today is day two of an online placement because my placement got pat got pushed back by four weeks and so yeah i've got online placement related stuff for the next two weeks and then the start of another module for the next for the two weeks after that now i came back to cambridge yes i did actually leave cambridge i came back on the 2nd of january after going back home for christmas and before Christmas, I bought this 2022 planner, which on the front says dream big, work hard. And it's and I haven't touched it yet. My room is a mess. Which is one of the things I plan on doing today. So let's get to it. Oh, there's a, there's a time zone thingy. Map. So one of the good things about this is the fact that there is like larger sections so like there i could say that wasn't a good example so like for a week a day of the week there's like a full page which obviously works out handy for doing like a to-do list so i can keep it in one place so Today is Tuesday the 11th, if I am not mistaken. Well, yeah, yeah, it is. So, I need to write my to do list, and I'm not going to bore you with that. So, I will come back to you with what I've done. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, Get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. So on my list of stuff to do is mm, finishing off stuff from yesterday. That actually reminds me of something that I else that I need to do. Part. And then I also need to clean my room. I've also put clean the bathroom, like it could wait, but I've stuck it on there for the, in case I do get it, I, like in case I am able to get it done. And also like today's placement stuff. I'd like to edit a vlog and also read. I haven't actually slept, so you know, you've got that going for me, but, and so I have, actually read and I did finish a book. Have I got the book easily accessible? Yes, yes I have. I read It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Personally, I really enjoyed this. I rated it five stars on Goodreads. Now, I still stick by my five star reads since a few hours ago when I rated it. However, I am also now thinking about this book in the sense of what I think of like some things that maybe it didn't mention or whatever. It didn't, it could have concluded better. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. And I do recommend trigger warnings related to this does include like domestic abuse and a little bit of sexual assault or abuse as well. I don't know the triggers exactly. Yeah, that's what is included in here. And yeah, I do recommend you read it, but those are the triggers. Obviously look into it further because those are the ones I'm listing off the top of my head that I remember, but yeah. I do recommend it because <laughs> it's a it, like it's a romance but it explores it in a different way to what I've heard of it being done 
obviously it could be done already and I just don't know about it because I typically read thrillers but I'm wanting to branch out a little bit more and I think that was a good book to start with but I'm currently reading Daisy Jones no, is it Daisy Jones yes Daisy Jones and the Six which is by Taylor Jenkins Reid and because I joined like a book club but I didn't join it in the sense of joining joining I joined it in the sense of just having a book recommended each month I'm about to fall off of the seat a little bit having a book recommended each month to read as a goal as like a if anything make sure you read this book by the end of the month if that makes sense so I could end up buying a book every single month of this year but oh well plus the books that I've already bought with birthday money there's been like seven been like seven so yeah oh is it starting to rain possibly it's definitely foggy outside but it is almost nine so I definitely need to get on with I'm definitely going to get on with today's placement stuff first just because I feel like if I get that done or most of it done at least then I can move on to some of the other stuff because obviously education takes priority in a sense so like my room could technically wait till another day or at least not get done fully today but I have boxes from Amazon packages where either stuff's come in multiple stuff so like a waterstones order i had came in two separate packages or like i ordered bin bags off of amazon at the same time as they ordered three books and i got two of the books in one time at one time and then i got another book in the same box as the bin bags if that makes sense so yeah i've got loads of boxes that could just get rid of and I just, I want to get my suitcase underneath my bed. I just, mm, like, it was under my bed before Christmas. I had to get it out again because of taking, of going home. But, yeah. So, let's get on. And also, yes, I am wearing a gym top. Do I plan on going to the gym today? Probably not. Will I probably end up changing out of this top? Yes. Yes, I will. So that's that going for me, but I'll to you guys sort of midway. I love doing stuff. I only stayed awake as I wanted to try and correct my sleeping pattern because after working so many days, I kind of fell out of a pattern that linked well to what I'm doing now, and so like. For example, one, no, because I'd worked, I wouldn't get home till late, so I'd be tired. So I worked Sunday, but I got home at like 11, but I needed to be up at seven. I didn't, I ended up, didn't end up start, starting my work till 11, but I should have started it at eight. Hence the reason I would have woken up at seven. <sighs> But because I didn't, I need to try and get things back under wraps and because I wasn't tired last night, I took the time to read. I still changed into my pyjamas though because it was like get out of it, get into like a different like a relaxation mode and then get into today's clothes after having a shower which was very nice. But yeah, I, will, I need to get on with my stuff because it's basically nine o'clock now. And yeah, so I will catch you guys in a little bit. I have literally just opened up the email just that we got sent telling us the stuff that you're doing today. And I'm already like, get me into something looser. I couldn't be bothered with a gym. Like, like, uh, a sports bar. That's the term I can be bothered. So I've gone with something looser. Oh, oh 
honestly. As you can see, room is a mess. But, and that's just the stuff that I'm just showing you. There's more. It gets worse. Mm, yeah. It gets worse, but... Yeah. It's now been a couple of hours and I had a nap and haven't done any other work. And, yeah. I need... I obviously need to get back onto it. But I have, having had that nap slash sleep, it does mean that I can do the work at night. Like, if you get what I mean. I know this is probably a weird angle and this is sliding. <clears throat> yeah. Honestly, I've literally done nothing off of my to-do list, but, yay. <sighs> but again, I do feel like now that I've had that sleep, I'll probably just be able to properly function, but yeah. So at some point this week, I need to sort out my sleep schedule because I've got work Thursday night. Honestly, why do I do this to myself? Maybe I'll sleep tonight. To be honest, I probably won't, though. But yeah. Let's get on with doing the stuff. So it is now many hours later and I've still only done like three hours of work or at least a third of the work because I went to eat and then spent hours socialising like just chatting with flatmates so yeah I haven't done anything and it's half 11 so i need to get a crack on because of how i slept though i've got a couple of hours but i am obviously definitely behind i'm only scheduled to work tomorrow no not tomorrow um thursday i'm not scheduled to work any other day so i have obviously got i have currently got all of the weekend to get stuff done i granted i do need to have something submitted in by like half three on thursday relating to the work i'm doing now so i definitely need to crack on and get the stuff done but yeah Maybe because I had that nap, I'll be able to go through until um, tomorrow night, maybe, just so that then I can start to regulate my sleep. But I, at the same time, actually, I feel like I could do that because last night, obviously, I stayed awake and the night before I had like the day before I had work, like Sunday I had work, so I slept in and obviously, so I feel like because I've slept even later that maybe, just maybe things will start to, you know, pick up, not pick up, um, like, or be able to just... <sighs> keep me going kind of thing but yeah it as you can see in the clock it says half 11 so yeah but i need to get on with some work but i could be putting too much research into each section anyway but at the same time i need to prove that i'm doing like eight hours of work and so it needs to look like a considerable 
amount, if that makes sense. So, yeah. But I definitely need to tidy up in here. Even if it's just sticking stuff in piles, because if you put stuff into piles that like type of stuff, then it means you can work easier, if you get what I mean. And also if I sort through those receipts that I've got, then just maybe I can start to get on top of the mess that is on my desk. Cause yeah, can you see that? Oh, it's that that you can see. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just seeing all my plants. And also you can start to see some of the books in that corner, but yeah. And I'm even trying to buy more books off of like, um, Depop. There's someone who's selling two books that I do want on Depop and she is in Cambridge. So I'm thinking if she's in walking distance, maybe, just maybe, I could go get them or even if I have to get the bus to be perfectly honest. Yeah. And also then I want to write, need to write down what my spending has been like, just to keep on track of it kind of thing. But my main thing is just tidying up, tidying up some of the stuff that is on my floor because, and also unpacking the last of my stuff because there is stuff here that needs unpacking and it is definitely not as good for like my mental health in the sense of when my room's clean and my mind is clear if that makes sense so yeah once i get some of that i'll be in a better headspace to do all the other stuff but yeah here's to another night of doing work but again I do need to put stuff underneath my bed just to get stuff out and yeah honestly I need to sort my life out and of course I didn't end the video and now it's July and our massive heat wave honestly so hot like this room I'm in now, I'm, it's currently night time, so it's fine. This kitchen gets so, so, so hot. We can only open four out of six windows. And honestly, it is a pain. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I'll see you in my next one.